Would you like your home to always smell nice and pleasant? Then I have 7 really surprising tricks for you that actually work. Let's start with number 1, because you probably know it too. The rubbish bin doesn't smell particularly pleasant, especially because a lot of rubbish is collected in it. But with this part we can actually avoid the whole thing. First of all, put the bin liner in your bin. And now we want to stick this part on the lid. But wait, not on the lid, but under the lid. Because this way you always have a fresh smell when you open your bin. So it's not the smelly rubbish that comes out, but the fresh smell of this part. But what is this thing anyway? It is a toilet freshener. It's actually these little stones that you can stick in your toilet that are made of a kind of gel. However, as you can see here, you can also just stick them under the lid of the bin. As they give off a pleasant scent, they work just as well here. Since they come in different scents, you can choose what you want it to smell like. Just get them, stick them under the bin lid and you'll notice that it lasts for quite a long time. This brings us directly to trick number 2. Because another thing that often doesn't smell very pleasant is the hoover. Because you vacuum a lot with it. A lot of dirt naturally collects in it, which can make the hoover smell less pleasant. Of course you should always make sure to empty the bag in time and maybe even clean the inside of the hoover. But to speed things up a bit or to generally make the vacuum cleaner smell better you can use cinnamon. Grab some powdered cinnamon and spread it on a hard floor. If you don't like the smell of cinnamon you can also use washing powder, any other spices or cloves. Depending on what you choose you have to spread the whole thing on a hard floor like this and then vacuum it away with your hoover. This way you get it into the dust bag and it spreads all over the hoover. The next time you use your hoover you will notice that it smells really nice and pleasant like cinnamon. This way when you vacuum you not only keep your home clean but also make it smell really nice everywhere at the same time. As soon as you change the bag you will of course have to vacuum up cinnamon again so that the effect can continue. This brings us to our third trick. For this one you need an ordinary clothes pack. It is important that the clothes pack is made of wood. Otherwise this trick will not work. You also need an essential oil of your choice. Decide on a scent that you really like to smell. Now take the oil and put a few drops of it on this clothes pack. A few drops are enough here. Make sure that you move the clothes pack back and forth a little so that the oil is distributed all over the clothes pack and soaked into the wood. Now you just have to make sure that the clothes pack can spread the scent very well somber. And this works especially well on the radiator. Because here you can clamp the clothes pack somewhere, for example at the top of the heating elements. And when you now switch on the heating, the essential oil is released by the heat and can spread throughout your home. So you will always smell this fresh pleasant scent that you have put on the clothes pack here. If after a while you notice that the smell is fading, then you just have to put a few more drops on the clothes pack again. You can really use it again and again. By the way, if you don't want to stick a toilet freshener in the lid of your bin, or maybe you don't have a lid on your bin at all, I'll show you another trick here. Because you can use mouthwash just as perfectly for this. To do this, put the bin liner back in your bin and then grab some mouthwash. But you shouldn't just dump it in the bin, because then you'd have a big mess in the bin and nobody really wants moisture or liquids in their bin liner. We use the trick a little differently here, because we can also put the mouthwash in the bin liner with a little aid. All we need is a cotton pad. But you could also just use a piece of cotton wool or a handkerchief. Put some mouthwash on it, a small amount is enough. And now just throw this cotton pad into the empty bin liner. Then you can throw the rubbish back in normally over time and you will notice that it smells really nice and pleasant like mouthwash. So the rubbish smells fresh and not like what you threw in there. This way you can also make sure that your rubbish doesn't stink. For trick number 5 you need a face mask, which you probably have some with you. Now we want to prepare it a little so that it can make your home smell really nice. Or rather so that we can banish bad smells from our home. Cut one side of the face mask open. Now you can form a little bag like this. And now we want to fill this bag with baking soda. 
By the way, you can also get baking soda from my shop. You can find the link below in the video description. I'll explain why this works so well in a moment, but first you should fill the face mask with some baking soda. It doesn't have to be full to the top, a small amount is already enough here. From this side that we cut off, you can now tear off the ribbon and close the face mask with it. Wrap it around the top and tie a knot in it. Then you have created the bag like this, filled with baking soda. And you can now hang it somewhere, because baking soda binds bad odors. That means you hang it somewhere where there is an unpleasant smell or where you generally want unpleasant smells to be removed. Thanks to the ribbon you can also just hang it up somewhere, for example behind a door in a corner where no one can see it or you can just put this bag somewhere where no one can see it directly. You can also hide it in a place where there is always an unpleasant smell, such as near the little tray. Another thing that often smells unpleasant is the drain, but you can do something about this too. For this you need lemons. Now cut the lemons into smaller pieces, so you can put them on your drain. They should not be so small that they fall down your drain. The lemon can make your drain smell nice again. And it also has a cleaning effect, thanks to the citric acid it contains. Now place a few of these small lemon slices directly over your drain. Then you need one more ingredient and that is baking soda. Because baking soda can bind the bad odor. Put a good amount of baking soda directly on the lemon, then cover it with a cloth and leave it like that for about 30 minutes. When the time is up, rinse everything thoroughly, remove the lemon slices and your drain will no longer smell bad. On the contrary, it will smell really nice. You have also cleaned it a bit from the inside, which will prevent bad smells in the future. If it starts to stink again, you should of course repeat this process. This brings us to the seventh and last trick and for this we also need a face mask. Again we cut off one side so that we can make a small bag out of it, just as we did with the other trick earlier. But now we don't put in baking soda but lemons. You should also cut them into smaller pieces beforehand, so that they are definitely cut open. They don't have to be super small, but you should definitely cut them into quarters or eighth. Now put them directly into the face mask, into this little pocket that you formed again. With the ribbon of the cut side, you close the whole thing at the top again, so that the lemons can't fall out here. And now you can use them on your toilet, more precisely in the cistern. When you have opened it, you can hang the bag somewhere here, so that it doesn't interfere with any of the other equipment. And every time you flush now, fresh lemon is passed through your toilet, so it always smells nice. After a while, however, you should replace the lemons so that they don't start to go moldy. Would you like to know 6 more tricks with baby oil that everyone should know? Then be sure to watch the video I'm linking to you here. You would make me really happy if you click the like button and subscribe to my channel.